Ayan, so magandang magandang hapon sa ating lahat. So blessed afternoon everyone. So welcome to Growing Life All New Season Episode 398. So we are now on Episode 398 for Mental Preparedness and the New Landscape of Living Amidst the Challenges of Our Present Time. Yeah, so Growing Life as a Community Service of the Cup of Republic the home of certified CCC Life Coaches and the coaching hub of Life Coach Philippines, wherein inspiration begins and transformation happens. So we are now growing wellness connection and we are doing Radical Healing Series for this month. And the Radical Series for the past month and for this month is we are going to, um we are on the theme of applying our mental models as we do our daily activities or whatever we want to do in life and uh, yeah learning about mental models in this month of august so we are incorporating mental models in every talk we do for the month of august yeah so today's live streaming is dubbed as five reasons why you love obstacles in your life yeah so this live streaming is in partnership with life coach philippines so our heart here as game changers is to view mental fitness in your space and help nurture holistic mental health for you and the people that matters most to you so shout out to our fellow uh to our coaching community and to my fellow candidate coaches serving in this corner of the digital space and advancing life coaching ethically and authentically so giving is a lifestyle that never goes out of style so as you see the value that you provide as an organization we truly appreciate receiving your stars and or love gifts through fund transfer so just check the caption of this video for bank info and or gcash account because we are now on the digital age so madali lang po yan so digital transfers yan so for decap coffee experience visit decap coffee republic inside pioneer center compound pioneer road corner brixton and united streets capitolio pasig city so we are open from 10 a.m to 10 p.m and so we are more than a traditional cafe that serves your favorite and classic comfort food like sausage platter, waffles, cakes, milkshakes, and coffee-based drinks. So, hindi lang po yung ano, hindi lang, yeah, yung nakikita nyo traditional cafe, hindi po. Yeah, so for you to experience it, then visit our coaching hub. So, we help individuals to make a therapeutic lifestyle change with our line of plant-based meal, natural fruit juices, Keto products, sugar replacement, and insulin, organic wine, and tea. Okay, so the Cup Coffee Republic is also the exclusive distributor of David's Feet Insulin Wine in Tea in the area of Mandaluyong and Paranaque. So our Save One campaign against diabetes is ongoing. So we invite you to join us as resellers and brand ambassadors to help raise awareness of sugar regulator products to help fight the debilitating symptoms and effects of diabetes. So with this, so becoming a reseller of uh, insulin wine, insulin tea is such a blessing for everyone because hindi lang po natin natutulungan yung ibang tao in terms of their health, in terms of their, uh, yeah, not only on their physical health, but then if they will become reseller or you will become a reseller as well as that, uh, it will also uh, provides financial help in you. And of course, if you are becoming, uh, if you are financially health, financially healthy and mentally healthy, you can serve more people. Yeah? And with this also, you will be having this, becoming a reseller is that you will also be receiving a course, a lifetime course with Master Coach A. And of course, uh, monthly monthly masterclass with her as well so as a support so this is a support on our entrepreneurial journey yeah so please check our fb page for the menu of santos meal and refreshing drinks 
o kanay kwet ko, Shazelle, to 0917-586-1661 to partner with DCAP Coffer Public in advancing health and wellness in your space. So kahit saan man kayo is pwede, you can advance health and wellness in your current space. Just connect with Coach Rizal and partner with DCAP Coffer Public. Okay, so if you just join us in, so welcome and thank you for being here. You may circulate the link of this video to invite your friends to watch with you. Mas maganda, may kasama kang nanonood kaysa mag-isa ka. Yan. So you may also tag them in the comment below and give them some shout out, thumbs up, encouragement, motivation, and best. Just acknowledge and express gratitude. Gratitude makes us joyful. Yan. So as for me, let me give my shout out to fellow mental model collectors inside B Learning Society by Master Coach A. So if you are not yet a smart holder of B Learning eCard, and you are still missing all the perks that we enjoy. Yan, more than one year na po kami dyan. Uh, connect with, uh, I mean, um, yeah, one year na po kami dyan sa, ano, sa Be Learning Society. More than one year. And we are experiencing the benefits from being a member. So why not try it also? So the best time for you to decide is today. So today is the best time for you to take action. Connect with Coach Rizal. Through 0917 to join the B Learning Society. So, what is B Learning Society? B Learning Society is the tent maker of B Learning Homes for mental fitness. So, in here, you will enjoy a food and beverage discount from Decap Coffer Republic and full access pass to the monthly mental model masterclass of Master Coach A, exclusive for B Learning Society members only. Then, you will be, an, uh, another benefit is that you will benefit from the 90 minutes free coaching session with senior coaches from Life Coach Philippines. Okay, so um, thank you fellow, yeah, sa mga nag-join live. So thank you Coach Mao, um, Coach Rizel, Coach Lin, and uh, Thank you for joining me live today and thank you for tagging your friends. Mr. Coach Hasmin, thank you. And to all the viewers, even you are watching this on a replay as well, thank you for joining. You may uh, share your thoughts, your your message, or an, kung ano yung message na nagko-connect sa'yo, you can just comment. Yeah. So let's use the comment section para at least meron tayong preference. Diba? Yeah, so for our next mental model masterclass will be announced this month of August. We normally do it um, on the fourth Saturday of the month. So abangan po natin. So just follow us here at Dikap Coffer Republic. Kasi dito naman namin siya ina-update. Okay? Yeah. So we are now, yeah. so we are now diving into the and for today's conversation on the five reasons why you love obstacles in your life. So please do tag your friends, forward this video link, invite others to join our conversation on radical, on the conversation on, yes, on mental models, yeah, applying the mental models in your life. So for this uh, lunchtime, I'll be sharing about the goal, design, and achievement mental model in relation to the obstacles, in relation to the five um, reasons why you have to love obstacles in your life. Yeah, so I am Life Coach Noor. So I'm one of the mental model collectors inside the learning Society. Uh, also a Master Builder Apprentice of Master Coach A, who are in we build tribe as we help your unstoppable dream come to us. So if you're that one person, you have these dreams in life and you feel that um, you need help, you feel that you need support, then it's time for you to connect with fellow master builder apprentice or fellow coaches. They are very willing to help you. Yeah, and so if you're watching this also on a replay, comment, hashtag replay, and do send us a message if you wish to connect with any points that resonates with you so you may also find the youtube link where you can watch the replay 
of all the episodes of Growing Life in the caption of this video. So please do follow and subscribe to the channel so that you will be notified when new learning videos becomes available. Yan, yan ang kagandahan kasi sana sa digital, di ba? Digital space kasi um, if we click the like, if we click the follow, then we were uh, we get notified every time yung na-click natin, na-like natin as uh, magugu like or may mga new postings, new contents na ilalabas. Okay? So, for those who are joining me live today, is that ano ba sa tingin nyo na reason bakit nyo kailangang mahalin ang obstacles sa buhay nyo? What do you think? Or what's your thought? But before I'll be sharing the reasons, is that the five reasons to love obstacles in your life, uh, I just wanted to introduce one of the mental model, mental models na gusto kong i-relate dito sa topic is that that is the goal, design, and achievement mental model. Isn't it that we all have these goals in life? Meron tayong gustong mangyari sa buhay natin. And do you know or are you aware or do you know your deepest why? Why you are doing that? Or why is it ganun ang goal mo? Alam niyo ba kung ano yung deepest why niyo? Ano yung value ng goal niyo na yan? And do you know or did you know that for us to achieve our dreams in life, obstacles are part of it. Challenges are part of it. Because when you are not acknowledging or you are not accepting that obstacles are part of your obstacles are part of um on your journey of achieving your goals in life as that medyo mahihirapan tayo along the journey if we met that obstacles. But then uh for you to know and for the awareness of everyone, yes, we have a goal in life. What are the ingredients? We need to know the value of our goal. And of course, we need to acknowledge, we need to accept, or we need to recognize that uh, obstacles are on its way. Obstacles are part of it. Because pag wala kang obstacles doon sa goal mo, parang uh, hindi, siya, ano, uh, hindi siya fulfilling in my own, in my own ano, perspective. Anyway. And yeah, obstacles is part of our journey towards achieving our goal. Yeah? So, with this, please listen. And you can engage as well in the comment section. Or, and, um, if you are in the season of your life right now, where you have, you are experiencing obstacles in your life in any areas, this can really help you. These reasons really help you. So here's my thought. What if your yeah, what if your monsters were not in fact monsters at all? What if those obstacles were actually your best friends? Your wisest teachers, your greatest allies. And what if instead of your obstacles you learn to them. Paano pag yung obstacle pala na yan, natuto ka doon? So my question is, when was the last time you cried? I mean, really cried. Yeah. So, if you are not the crying type, when was the last time you woke up in a cold sweat? When you couldn't fall asleep. When was that last time? When was the last time you struggled through a situation? Either writing a content, yeah, having difficulties in a conversation with the others, with your parents, with your partners, or with your friends, or your community members. When was that last time? And when was the last time you saw a monster of an obstacle before you. Or in, it's scary, it's hairy, 
and cowered into the fetal position, cursing and intimidated. So if you're a human being here on planet Earth, it probably hasn't been too long. Could have been last week na na-feel mo or na-experience mo. Or it may have been this morning or kanina lang. Parang ganun. So for me, yung struggle na na-experience ko or obstacles is yung sa ano, dito sa technical. Oy, nung maglalagin sana ako eh, kailangan ko daw restart yung, ano, yung device. O diba? Yan, that is one of the obstacles. Yan, so... In the book of Ryan Holiday, so yung title ng book niya is The Obstacle is the Way. So um, she explores, when she explores this one or she wrote it that she used examples from Marcus Aurelius to Amelia Earhart, Ulysses Grant to Barack Obama, where Holiday shows that the greatest fears or the greatest feats in humanity weren't accomplished in the absence of obstacles. But then, they are accomplished because of the obstacles. So yung mga nangyayari or mga naganap sa buhay, yung mga nabanggit ko kanina is that their achievements become achievements because of obstacles. Kasi daw, hindi daw yung nangyari kung Wala si obstacles. Yan. But the obstacles, Halidi suggests that they are just a blessing in disguise. And so instead of cowering before the monstrous obstacles in your life, you should learn to embrace those obstacles. Yan. So I'll be sharing with you the five reasons. Yeah. Five reasons to love obstacles in your life. So there are a lot of reasons, but then uh, I will just share the five. So if you want to know more about the other five, because these are ten. So if you want to learn more about the other five, then much better to connect with me and focus happen natin. And I will be willing to share it with you. Okay, so number one reason is that obstacles show us who we really are. Certain things in life will cut you open like a knife. When that happens, at that exposing moment, the world gets a glimpse of what's truly inside you. So what will be revealed when you're sliced open by tension and pressure? Diba? Open pressure ka. So in my journey, yeah, so in my journey, I learned most about myself during the absolute worst moments moments or times of loneliness wherein i realized my fear of rejection was holding me back another worst moments are is that times of extreme sadness wherein i admit how irrationally dependent i was on a certain people. And in times of heartbreak and secretly wishing something would hit me and remove the ache. Yeah, diba? So those are those are ugly stuff to really admit, right? But then obstacles that force us to feel these things expose our core. So which can be scary if we don't like what we see. So, ano yung perspective mo pag halimbawa you face those obstacles? Who are you? Who really you are? Who you really are when obstacles arises? It's good to reflect on that. Because, yeah? Because the good news is that once we've revealed our darkest demons, we can begin dealing with them. Yeah, so thank you for joining us, Nelson. Yeah. Yung iniyakan ko, for sure, yun din yung iniyakan ko. Yeah, tama. Tama, tama. 
Yung mga bagay-bagay, nakarelate ako diyan sa mga bagay-bagay na iniiyakan natin, sa mga bagay-bagay na uh, parang nahihirapan tayo, those are the things, those are the signs, those are the symptoms na we can achieve what we want in life. And that is very, very true. For in yeah, expressing those na kahit nasasaktan ka, you feel the pain really is that pinaglalaban mo pa yun. Kasi those are the spices or those are the sweetest moments. Kasi pag nalampasan mo yan, maganda yung fulfillment. Kaysa yung, natin mo yung something na wala ka man lang pinagdaan ng obstacles, wala ka man lang pinagdaan ng challenge. O diba? Yan, so number two is, obstacles instruct us on what we need to do next. So if you feel those obstacles, if you... If we experience obstacles, yan. Nadidetermine natin kung ano ba yung need natin to do next. So in every situation, that which blocks our path actually presents a new path. Yan. Present a new path with a new part of us. So acknowledging those obstacles really is something na nakakapag-fulfill sa atin kasi dinadirect tayo sa best path, path or best direction instead of yung um, gusto natin. But then there is more there is more than what we want. Diba? Yeah, so if someone, if someone you love hurts you, for example, there is a chance to practice forgiveness. So, obstacles literally spell out what we must do. Especially those obstacles that hurt the most. They reveal, they reveal the parts within us that need fine-tuning. Yan. Oh, maganda yan. Kasi it really, uh, pag sa mga obstacles na nadadaanin natin is that um, nire-reveal niya sa atin yung need of fine-tuning. Na kailangan, kailan may need ako, na kailangan pang ayusin, kailangan i-prepare, kailangan uh, gawin muna para sa ganon, uh, napiprepare tayo doon sa looking forward natin. Okay? So, obstacles show us the things inhibiting our own growth and once exposed, they show us what to do next. So, once na-expose tayo dun sa mga obstacles, it shows us what to do next. So, lean into them, learn from them, and get past them. Or sabi nga ni Benjamin Franklin, she said that the things which hurt instruct. And that is true. The things which hurt instruct us. Okay, so number three reason why you love obstacles is obstacles make us tougher. The body's born with a steel backbone. Diba? Sino ang may steel backbone dyan? Okay, so we have to forge it ourselves. If an obstacle rips or if an obstacle rip us open and we see air, this isn't something to shy away from. So instead, we can look at in the face and resolve to do something about it. Because obstacles give us a chance to practice courage and give us a chance to practice courage. So courage to improve our situation, our world, ourselves. Diba? Maraming nagagawa ni obstacles sa atin. And if we find that our courage, quite frankly, kind sucks, obstacles make us tougher for the next round. Yan, so mas magiging tougher na tayo sa next round. Okay, di ba? So testing the waters in the first round, so second round, at least mas courageous na tayo. So di ba? Ganda ng obstacle eh. So we have to love obstacle. O, di ba? So, number four is, obstacles help us focus on what's important. We want to have goals? Yes. So, everything we do can be in service 
to something purposeful. So when we know what we are really setting out to do, the obstacles, the obstacles that arise tend to seem smaller, more manageable. Okay? So when we don't know what's important to us, we can tell the difference between the obstacles worthy of our time and those that aren't. So every challenge in our periphery look like a massive mountain we must climb. Diba? Yeah. So, but once we determine and define the thing or things we must want to accomplish, suddenly the majority of our obstacles reduce themselves to small hills. We are now focuses and can pour our energy into the few true mountains worthy of us. Diba? So, maganda talaga si obstacles eh. It really help us focus on what's important. So if you're that one person na na-experience mga obstacles in your life, just have to love it. Kasi may mas maganda siyang nagagawa sa'yo. May mas nagag, mas, um, eh, mas, mas nakaka-benefit ka dyan sa obstacles na yan. Diba? Yan. In last benefits or reasons why you love obstacles for this session is that obstacles make us more creative. So only in struggling with the impediments that made others quit, we can find ourselves on untrodden territory. Only by persisting and resisting can we learn what others were too impatient to be taught. So when it feels like all is lost, when it feels like all is lost, when the obstacle before us is the baddest, baddest we've seen or we've experienced, what can we do? Anong gagawin natin? Para sa ganon, uh, we became more creative. Or how can we overcome that? So we can... Actually, we can give up or we can get creative. That's the thing. Magigive up pa tayo or we must be more creative in our own different way. Yeah? So creativity is not only on the arts, arts, but then creativity is also on how are we going to communicate our message? How are we going to um, stand out with ourselves? So there's a lot of... Um, Creativity in creativity thinking and creativity execution. Okay, yeah. So it's like, uh, yeah, I have this short story. It's like the story of a lecturer asking the audience to raise their hands as high. So we usually do this uh, during my mga trainings, yung mga ganyan, may mga uh, seminars. And we do this to our audience, actually. So it's not on the lecture that I am mentioning. So the lecture said, raise your hands higher. And everyone is somehow able to reach a little higher. And the lecture said, higher still. So again, miraculously, everyone found an extra inch to reach. So can you go any higher? Is there anything more you can do? And suddenly people are leaping onto their chairs, jumping up and down. Yeah, so in other words, yeah, in other words, people got creative. They started pulling out all the stops. Chairs, tables, athleticism, yeah, to reach higher than the initially thought possible. So when all feels lost, obstacles help us stretch our creative muscles. And so nakaka-stretch ng creative muscles ang obstacles. 
sometimes it helps to ask, is there anything more I can do? May, may mga bagay pa ba na I have to do it to level up for me to overcome those obstacles na nabanggit mo. O, diba? So, yeah, those are some of the reasons that I'll be sharing, yeah, na na-share ko this afternoon. So, for us to review those five, to para review natin yung five uh, reasons why you love obstacles is that, number one, sabi ko, obstacles show us who we really are. Number two is obstacles instruct us on what we need to do next. And number three is obstacles make us tougher. And number four, obstacles help us focus on what's important. And lastly, obstacles make us more creative. So is that enough? Yung mga na-share ko ba na, na-share ko ba na reasons is, uh, is that is that enough for you to love obstacles in your life? Maybe you can ask that to yourself. So again, what is obstacles for you? Ano yung obstacle sa'yo? Yan. You can share it in the comment section. So with this, um, so with this, with this sharing, this uh, learning lunch times that I would like to thank you for joining me today and supporting the advancement of mental fitness in our space. So I would like to invite you to join us on floor for our face-to-face -face community events. Um, Confi Sunday, Sundays for Life with Coach Sean. Nurturing Monday, Walk Along with Coach Teen. Group Tuesday, it's all about habits with Master Coach Hasmin. Purpose Wednesday, a way and a day with Coach Rizel. Strengthening Thursday, Coaching for the Soul with Master Coach A. Fab Saturday, Open Mic with Coach Orwell. So for tonight, we would like to invite you to be part of our face-to-face -face, um, conversation with Master Coach Hasmin. It's all about, yeah, it's all about habits with master coach hasmin tonight so if you're that one person who are in you feel that hindi mo na may maintain yung good habits mo and you want to know and learn more about habits then visit our coaching hub the cup coffee republic and join master coach a master coach hasmin tonight on na uh, habits yeah it's all about habits yung topic niya is it's all about habits so it's our group Tuesday. Okay, so if you're interested to, to become a professional service provider, either as a life coach or mental health coach, like us, like yeah, like us here at the digital space, connect with Coach Cell 2917 5861661 to know more about the Co Actively Co Create Life Coach Certification Program by Master Coach A. We are now accepting application for mental health certification and internship program with limited slots. So make sure that you make a reservation with Coach Rizal. So join us back again tomorrow. Yan. Join us back again tomorrow with Coach Sean. Same digital space. With same digital space. So we are now on our episode 399 tomorrow, so it would be caution. So entitled Day One Breaking Free from Monotony. So see you tomorrow on this episode. So this is Life Coach North, mentally fit to serve in behalf of Life Coach Philippines. This is us in the Philippines. La bam boom, la bam boom, la bam boom. See you again tomorrow. Have a blessed day day to all of you. Hello. As a business owner, are you overwhelmed by the need to post beautiful, engaging content every single day? Are you left wondering what to write? Tired of scrolling through stock photos that all start to look the same? Confused by complicated graphic design programs? Rise Up Creatives is here to help. 
each month, we give you everything you need to create 31 days of social media content in just five minutes a day. Customizable captions, curated lifestyle photos, a drag and drop graphic design tool, and the ability to post directly to your social media accounts. No one else empowers you with these four resources all in one place. Each month, we help you plan your social media calendar by providing you with 31 image themes and customizable captions so you can quickly and easily create engaging content and grow your following. Simply select the image that works best for your feed or story. Then copy the caption and customize it to fit your audience. Five minutes a day, it's that quick. Plus, you'll absolutely love our drag and drop graphic design tool. Start from scratch or choose one of our beautiful templates to fit your unique brand. When you're ready to export your design, you can download, email, or post directly to your social media accounts. Here's the truth. Our world needs what you have to offer. Don't let technology or procrastination hold you back. Rise Up Creatives is more than an online resource. We're a community helping you overcome your biggest barriers to reach your greatest goals. We're here to help you rise up and be creative.